So first we'll start off with a tour of the mess. We've got some cars on the floor there, a hat over there, and Wiimotes. And then on the table here, Kevin had cut off the back of a cereal box that, with, that had a game on it. The floor needs sleeping. The island has receipts and all kinds on it that just needs to be tidied up. A pan still from supper. The compost pail is full. We have popcorn. We've got dishes. Just all the regular stuff and some odds and ends that need to be cleaned up. Garbage that needs to go out. Footwear that needs to get put away. And just a whole pile of cleaning that needs to get done. That sink is nasty. It needs to get cleaned as well. And the floor. And I've got a burnt out light bulb and some books. And our bedroom needs to be tidied up. Laundry, clothing, and the bed. And of course the floor. Alright, let's go guys. Let's get it done. Won't fluff the pillows today. Just make the bed. And, and then get these clothes hung back up. So I've got a bit of a raccoon tan going on there on my face from wearing my shades, but oh well, it'll even out yet over the summer. it back and then I can go on to vacuuming the hallway. Let's tackle this kitchen. Dishwasher was cleaned out, that's why I started in our bedroom today so that the kids had time to get the dishwasher cleaned out so that I could just come and load it. I don't have enough dishes for a full load so that's kind of nice. Means that the sink gets totally cleaned out and that's always so nice to see. There we go, that's done already. Now on to tidying up all these counters. Slicer was out from making food the other day. Some bags that had had bread or buns in them. Just shake all the crumbs out and fold them up all nice. And then they're ready for the next time I have bread or buns to put into them. I decided to treat the kids the other day so I bought a box of cereal and when I do I like to save these plastic bags that are inside the box. Just give it a wipe on both sides and those pieces are so handy. I'll fold it in half as a double layer when I'm making burgers and it just helps to separate those burgers so well later when I want to take them apart when we want to have burgers for a meal. So right now it's wiped, it's just going to dry but that's why I save those. Thank you. 
wipe all the counters, and that popcorn pot needs a wash. I like to scrape it out first, it just helps to keep my water so much cleaner and there's less grease that goes into the water so I can do a better job of washing the pot. It'll air dry for a bit and once I've moved out of this room, one of the kids will come and dry it and put it away. One of the girl's friends that has moved away, a couple of the girls in the family have sent our kids a letter, so they decided to keep the envelope there so that they had the mailing address and there had been a cute butterfly sticker on the back, they wanted to keep that as well. Now that that's cleared off the island, I can get it wiped. And the table always needs a wipe as well, and a few more pieces there from that box being cut up. So now this cereal bag was dry, I can fold it up, put it away, the tape was out as well, so that's cleaned up, and on to sweeping the floors. Here's everything that got swept up again. This sweeper does such an awesome job of catching everything. With all the crumbs cleaned up and the dust swept up, I can wash the floors.
here we are in the entrance again. Get all the footwear put away and that crate back into the bench and then the cleanup can happen. burnt out we're gonna get it changed and that light fixture was so dirty wow I can't remember the last time that I took it down and wiped it inside and out so that needed to be done so bad I just one of those things I think that gets overlooked and forgotten about so it was really really good it was good timing it needed to be done put it back up there make sure it's centered and then I can get on with cleaning the rest of the bathroom As I said, the kids are helping, so he's going to take that garbage can away from me and empty it. And just leave it right there for me so that the floor is ready for washing as soon as I'm done cleaning the toilet here. Now that that's all done, the garbage can can go back and we'll switch out the towel for a clean one. Perfect, this bathroom is done. Wash the entrance floors yet, seeing as I'm already here. And we'll move on to the other bathroom. Oh, this bathroom today really needed a good cleaning. The boys have been in here. We have some stinging nettle in the bush around our place. And some of the boys or one of the boys had been touched by it or had touched it, whichever way that goes. 
And so the other little guy was going to help him apply some calamine lotion, as that takes the burning away almost instantly, is what we found. And as they were working on that, the bottle got knocked off the counter and I had this puddle of pink all over the floor and it just splashed. So the cabinet doors there, they are just splashed with this calamine lotion and I forget how far it all went, but it was quite a mess. I decided today last minute that maybe it would be a good idea to spritz the toilet brush with that homemade cleaner. I just thought, you know, hey, maybe that sometimes needs a good sanitation too. So that's why I did that. And then onto the bathtub. It is so easy to clean like this. I just love how well this solution works, guys. Man, I used to take magic erasers and scrub on this thing like crazy, try to get all that soap scum off and the dirt and whatever. I can't even remember what I all used, but wow. I know I talk about this, I think, in every single video, but it just, it still amazes me how well this solution works, how easily the scum and the dirt and everything all comes off. Just rinse everything clean and we are good to go. On to the next thing. And now this bathroom is done already too. The majority of the towels were already clean and fresh, just the hand drying towel needed to be changed out. So that's it, this one's done. And it always feels so good to wash my hands after I'm done as well. Back in the kitchen to finish off. <laughs> uh, I'm not sure why I end up in the kitchen again all the time. Maybe because it was almost lunchtime and so I came back and was just prepping my surfaces. I don't know. 
But for whatever reason, I often end up back here in the kitchen. fridge and freezer handles, I often forget about those and then I think of them as I'm cleaning the other rooms and I come back and have to do them later. Alright guys, that's it! Cleaning is done already, everything is tidied up to where we need it to be, so thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't yet, hit that bell if you want to be notified whenever we post a new video. Food video is coming out on Monday, and I'll see you next time. Bye!